Welcome. In front of me is an Alcatel 3T10 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now this process will allow you to get rid of screen locks. So if you have one set on your device that you just don't remember, you can get rid of it this way. Now, the downside is if you are also logged into a Google account, which I am on this device, uh, and you do this, the device will become FRP locked. And just to quickly explain what that means, FRP lock is a uh, kind of like an iCloud lock. So when you reset the device and you're going afterwards through the setup of it, uh, at one page you will be stopped, uh, forced to connect to Wi-Fi, and then on the next page, or a couple pages later, it will tell you that you need to verify uh, the old user uh, through one of the methods, which one of them would be screen lock and the other one would be the Google account. You can pick one of them, you don't need to obviously verify both of them, just one. But if you don't know your, uh, your screen lock, that leaves you with only Google account, and if for some reason you don't know Google account, then this would technically mean that the device is locked, but I'll be making a video on how you can bypass this. So just completely get rid of it. So if you're interested in that uh, as well, stay tuned for the next video. Now, going back to this one, let's just jump straight to it. So we need to, uh, or I, we don't need to, I'm just gonna lock the device. Uh, so I can show you that I do have a pattern set right here and I'll progress with the process from the lock screen as though I don't know it. So number one, hold power key, select power off. Once the device turns off, you wanna hold power and volume up at the same time. So both of these keys. So I'm gonna do that right now. I think we need to let go of the power key when the logo appears. Otherwise the device turns off. Yep, so that seems to be the case. So when you see the Alcatel logo, let go of the power key, but keep holding volume up. And this will then take you to recovery mode. That looks like this. And here you'll need to use a volume keys to navigate through these options right here. And power key will be used to select uh, the options that are, well, to confirm the selected options. So with that in mind, let's navigate down to wipe data, factory reset and select factory data reset. At the bottom you will see formatting data or wiping data and then last thing is data wipe complete. At which point you will see that reboot system now is selected by default so press part key once again. This will reboot the device and continue resetting it in the background. But because this isn't necessarily the fastest device um, this might take a couple minutes to finish up so just be patient. It's going to be uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but once it's, com once it's completed, sorry for that tongue twist, uh, then once it's completed, we should then have a setup screen visible on our screen. So I'm gonna let it run through and come back once it's actually finished. Oh, okay, so that actually took uh, shorter amount of time than I expected, but as you can see, it's now finished. Now, in my case, uh, the device will become FRP locked. Uh, I did it purposefully, so I'll be making a video on how we can bypass this. Uh, there is no indication right off the bat that it is locked. Normally, there will be a kind of lock, so I believe it will show up once I connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, no, never mind, there it is, it just appeared. So yeah, for me, this is locked and I'll need to bypass this. But in any other circumstances, obviously, most of you shouldn't have a problem with this. So you can go through the setup, set it up however you want, unlock it if you need to, and that's it. And with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.